Hi, I'm Nichelle Nichols. It's hard to be commuting around the universe in the Starship Enterprise, but believe it or not, Star Trek-style technology is in the works for the family car, along with high-tech electronic help for combating 1990s traffic congestion. If you were ever stuck in a Santa Monica freeway traffic jam during the past two years, you might have seen one of 25 white Oldsmobiles like this. In a way, these cars were visitors from the future, part of a recently completed experiment in high-tech transportation. They were pioneers in a nationwide research and development program designed to explore Intelligent Vehicle Highway Systems, or IVHS. The biggest secret weapon against traffic congestion is information. The more we know, the more we can apply controls to manage traffic conditions and avoid gridlock. Electronic sensors keeping track of traffic flow are a start. Basic information and control systems like changeable message signs, remote control TV cameras, and ramp meters add to the information control system. In Southern California, this information is collected in two major traffic management centers, the Los Angeles Automated Traffic Control and Surveillance Center, or ATSAC. ATSAC regulates and coordinates surface street signals and the Caltrans Semi-Automatic Traffic Management Systems or SATAMS. SATAMS monitors freeways. Caltrans Deputy Director of Operations in Los Angeles is Chuck O'Connell. Uh, the Traffic Operations Center has evolved over the last 15, 18 years and it's tied in with an infrastructure that we have in the field, in, on all the freeways, for example, uh, we have over 900 locations where we have loop detectors or sensors built into the pavement, and we have something in the order of 12,000 sensors throughout a 400-mile stretch of, of freeways. That information is continually brought into, the, into our traffic operations center 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Coordinating this information for the benefit of individual drivers of tomorrow was the goal of an intelligent vehicle highway system experiment called Pathfinder. Jeff Namba was a Pathfinder project coordinator for Caltrans. Pathfinder was the first intelligent vehicle highway systems project of its kind to be tested in the country. It's a cooperative effort between Caltrans, the Federal Highway Administration, and General Motors. Uh, each of the 25 project cars had an ETAC navigational device which operates sort of like an electric Thomas Brothers guide, if you will. And it also received traffic information from the operations center here. Pathfinder was centered on a 14-mile stretch of the Santa Monica Freeway, America's first smart corridor for a new generation of smart cars. The heart of it all is this computer workstation. The Pathfinder workstation receives traffic information from a number of different sources and uses this information to compile a list of congested locations. Data from detectors on arterial streets are transmitted to the ADSAC Central and then by direct line to the Pathfinder workstation at Caltrans. Freeway data are collected at the Caltrans Traffic Operations Center and sent to the Pathfinder workstation at the same location. The congestion data, additional incident details, and Pathfinder generated data are fused together to provide a measure of congestion for each link in the network. Locations of the congested areas are transmitted to the vehicle and once each minute the vehicle's position, heading, and speed are transmitted back to the central computer as additional input on traffic congestion. A computer-type monitor mounted on the dashboard displays maps of the area. You tell the system where you want to go and a computer located in the trunk generates maps. The map shows where the car is and where it's going. As the vehicle moves, the map adjusts to show where you are as you drive. Maps can be set to show a broad overview of the entire metropolitan area or the streets of a specific neighborhood. 
As you drive, a separate computer in your car analyzes congestion data and passes on the latest traffic information in three ways. As symbols on the electronic map, as printed words on the monitor, and as a spoken message using a computer-generated voice. It's like having the ultimate backseat driver. It may not be the enterprise, but our relationship with our car is becoming more personal every day. In fact, sooner than you think. You can drive a smart car today. Just take a trip to Orlando, Florida. Here, a smart car project called Traftec is as close as an airport rent-a-car office. Inside a specially equipped vehicle, a computer co-pilot is standing by. You may be a stranger to Orlando, but when it comes to getting around town, Traftec knows more than most natives. Sensors in the car and a satellite tracking system pinpoint your car's location to within a hundred feet anywhere in a five-county area around Orlando. You tell the computer where you want to go and Traftec automatically selects the quickest, most direct route to your destination. Navigation and information systems like Traftec are only part of the Intelligent Vehicle Highway System research. Work is going on to allow cars to sense and control proper spacing in traffic and sophisticated heads-up displays like those used by fighter pilots are being evaluated to keep drivers' eyes on the road as they receive display information. Most experts agree that smart cars are on the way. Now all we need are smart drivers to support other environmentally conscious alternatives and transportation in Southern California could really take off in the 21st century.